Hey guys, ETP Duelist here in an ugly shirt with ugly lighting, uh, talking about a big response to Nim Nim, who said, uh, Yadagaratsu wouldn't be a bad thing if it came unbanned. Now, first off, I want to say, anybody that says that did not play back the old good days traditional when traditional wasn't a thing. See, the problem with Yadagaratsu is that it's unexpectedly there for a win. What I mean by that is, you think with your dragon rulers you could just pop those out any time and block this dude's attack. And you might also think, hey, you know, it wasn't Yara that started the ban list. It was, by the way. No, you probably think it was Chaos Emperor Dragon and Yadagaratsu that started the ban list. That's not true. It was purely this bird. The thing is, Yadagaratsu will just own the format. Every beatdown deck will play Yadagaratsu if they can. Picture Heratic. Summon whatever Heratic, play Wingbeat, clear your back row, normal summon Yada uh, after I do a field rush with Heratics. And Heratics don't always OTK, you know? One of the best things you could do with Heratic is to bring out M7, bounce back something like a Maxi, play defensive. So I'll just do something like Gauntlet Launcher. Gauntlet Launcher is really good. I can clear two monsters with Gauntlet Launcher in case you try to stop me. So I'll Gauntlet Launcher your, after Wingbeat. After we beat Gauntlet Launcher, summon Yada, attack with Yada. So let's say you were like a normal duelist, you set two traps, and you played one monster. So already, now in your hand, you only have three cards to stop me from Yada locking you again. And you better hope I don't drop something like Sue next turn. And that's the really annoying thing about Yada Garatsu. It's a spirit monster with 200 attack that bounces back to your hand. So... You can't bottomless it. You'll be doomed if you warning it, and I'm playing Heratic in this scenario, and you're doomed if you save Solemn Warning for Sue, because you're still going to get hit by the Yada. Not only that, but, you know, decks in the in the end game, especially, if you're just top decking with your opponent, and you top deck Yada, and they didn't get a monster, it's lights out for them. Yada Garatu is also good because you could force out traps. If they had a Mirror Force face down, they know how dangerous Yada's going to be. They're going to have to Mirror Force. No. Yada Garatsu needs to stay on the ban list. It's very relevant card. It always will be. Trust me, just don't unban the bird.